know what really grinds my gears? This li this lack of people following up on their challenges, man. Come on, you challenge me, I tell you me your name, and then you guys do nothing. Come on. Need some challenges, especially since I can't access Cerebi's chat room. But anyway, that's not the main reason of this video. This main reason of this video is to talk about what I have written in my profile information on YouTube. I said that I've blacklisted two people. Not that these two people would ever challenge me anyway, but in case they do, I kind of want to raise awareness about them. First one, his name is a uh, YouTube profile name, Indeed Vandal. Calls himself Dim Sum. In one of his videos, he shows people how to make money fast in Diamond and Pearl. And uh, you use that one item that lets you battle people over and over. And he's battling a socialite, and she hasn't battled him in a while, so he said, Oh, she's just being Jewish. And I don't care if he was just kidding or whatever, it's just ignorant, it's wrong. Shouldn't do that, so blacklisted from him. The second guy, um, YouTube profile name Vicarious, I th uh, calls himself Dysfunction. Um, he has two Pokemon that I'm really not agree with. Um, the first one is a Probo Pass that he uses. Um, we all know what Probo Pass looks like. Uh, its Japanese name is Dainosu, which means big nose, and he decided to call it Probo Jew. Again, not too fond of that racial remark against Jewish people, you know, with the big nose and everything. But as offensive as that is, his other Pokemon, Fortress, which I don't know about you guys, but the first thing I think about with Fortress is setting up Stealth Rock Spikes, Toxic Spikes, and then I think about the explosion. And he decided to name his Fortress For Allah. Now, what the fuck does that mean? Seriously. I don't. A lot of times I like to give people the benefit of the doubt, but it's really hard in his case because it's kind of obvious what he means by that. So unless he has another reason for naming his fortress for the blacklisted, still blacklisted even with the Probo Gym. But yeah, that's what grinds my gears. In a nutshell, that's D'Angelo Hall, greatest uh, football player ever. That's Sean Marion, the greatest basketball player ever. Second to Michael Jordan. All right. Whatever. <laughs> That's uh, Lee Stetniak, greatest hockey player ever, second to Wayne Gretzky. Actually, that is a big joke. He's just my favorite player. The actual second greatest player next to Wayne Gretzky is this guy, Nicholas Lindstrom. Alright, see you guys later.